Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome to my channel. Today we are at the dump. I'm rocking my new gloves from Firm Grip today. Their link is in the description box and my awesome boots from Royer. So I'm nice and safe today, so let's go hunting. I dug out this little cart and it has some side panels that seem to lift up. I'm gonna take it home and see what I can do with it. Found this great chair, which I know I can definitely recover pretty easily. I don't normally take things that have fabric from the dump, but I know I can rip this off quick when I get home and start from fresh. Go quick. Oh god, they're all inside. I know, they're so bad. <sighs> you didn't do that quickly. Uh, like, at all. Oh, gross. This is a trash to treasure video. So this week, I visited the dump two times. Once I went by myself while Philip was working with the kids on some projects, and I found a cute little metal cart. And then we went yesterday, which was the worst visit we've ever had to the dump. The heat was really hot, and so it was so stinky at the dump and there were so many flies. But we managed to come home with one amazing treasure and a few other things to turn into treasures. Sometimes when you visit the dump, there's absolutely nothing there and you come home empty handed. So I find that I go and I check it out once in a while to see if there's any treasures there when I go. I was really, really happy with one of the finds that I found yesterday. This is my favorite find that I found yesterday and I'm super thrilled with it. I never take things from the dump that have fabric on them. I will see amazing things there that are almost in perfect condition and I just leave them there. I can't figure out when I get home how I'm going to disinfect that perfectly and know that it would be safe to put in my home or anyone else's. So I always leave sometimes some really great things there just knowing that I don't bring fabric things home. But when I saw this chair, I knew that I could remove all of the seats very easily and then start from fresh with just the wood base. So I'm gonna give this an amazing clean job, remove the fabric, wearing my gloves, and then I'm gonna to get to work. I knew as soon as I saw this at the dump flipped upside down that this was an old vintage bedwood chair. On my trip earlier this week, I found this great metal cart and I had no idea what I was gonna do with it at the time, but I discovered when I got home that had these great sidewalls that actually stood up to extend the table height and I think it's really cool and I love the industrial look of it. I also found this great old window which I knew right away what I was gonna do with it. I love how it has a slight arch to the top and I have a perfect plan. I'm going to get all these items cleaned up and then I'm gonna get creating. They only glued it on, <laughs> so it's actually really easy to come off. I'm going to use the original wood bottom to trace around so I can cut it out as best as I can using my scroll saw. Got this blanket thrifted, I'm going to use it to recover this chair. I'm going to do the same thing for the back of the chair as I did for the seat. paint to paint this that way it will be really durable at the end I don't want to use a latex paint because it will just scrape off the metal paint is a little bit thicker and more difficult to work with but the end result will be much better
happy with all the trash that I turned into treasure today. I like to be able to put all of my items together at the end of the videos. And maybe I wouldn't stage all these items together in my real life situation, but I think they actually turned out really well. I really wanted to make some kind of an industrial looking stand for my son's night table. And I really think I accomplished that with the metal rack. It is a complete transformation from before and after. I added some warmth by adding the wood shelving and it gives him a little extra storage space for some books being able to still put a drink or something on top and not ever have to worry about any wear and tear. I love that he'll have a little extra space for some bigger items if he wants to hold up the flaps on the side. I still can't believe that I found a Benwood rocking chair at the dump. It really wasn't in that bad of condition, but the fabric definitely needed an upgrade. I found this thrifted blanket, which I was able to upholster the seat with some new foam. It's the perfect addition to have boys around the home using this type of fabric. I decided to leave the original wood. The stain was actually in really good condition. I touched up a few spots with my provincial stain, and other than that, it didn't really need any work at all. I thought that painting the wood would take away from the boho natural look that I was looking for. You can find my scroll saw art video on my channel where I made this really awesome wall hanger. I've been having so much fun visiting the dump, finding different trash that I can show how I change it into treasure. You guys have inspired me to create more of these trash to treasure videos. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel because we have a lot more of these coming. When we started our YouTube journey, we had no idea where this journey would take us. And it's thanks to all of your guys' support that we're coming up on 45,000 YouTube family members. This is absolutely crazy to us and we are just so inspired by you guys watching our videos and all of your feedback. I've been receiving a lot of comments and messages on where you can find me on social media. You can find me under my name, Alicia English, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. We have also started a merch shop on Etsy where you can find me under Alicia English. We've started a whole bunch of products and we'll be adding more to this lineup as we go. On our Etsy shop, you can find stencils that you can use to follow along with our video tutorials on YouTube. You can buy files to create your own if you own a Silhouette Cameo, paintbrushes with our branding, and a lot more items coming soon. And best of all, all of our items are shipping worldwide, so we didn't leave anybody out. I've been getting lots of emails with photos of the things that people are creating from being inspired from my videos. You guys inspire me so much, and I love seeing what you guys are working on. Whether it's a trash or treasure, or just a DIY you're working on, or a home project, send me your pictures. I love to see what you're working on. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, going to the dump is hit and miss. You don't always find what you're looking for. So on my haul list right now, I'm looking for the perfect mid-century modern boho china cabinet that I can store things in in my dining room. So I'm on the hunt. What is one thing that you would die if you found at the dump? Let me know in the comments section down below. Our silhouette cameo is here and ready for our giveaway. It's just happening in two more weeks. You have just enough time to still enter. So go over to my Trash to Treasure number one video and leave me a comment on there what your favorite project was. The link is in the card. Also, in October, we have a new giveaway. I'm keeping it a secret for now, but it's a good one, so you wanna make sure you're subscribed. Because the only way you can be entered in our giveaways is if you're a subscriber to our channel. English family, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this giveaway. I'm going to be demoing this item for our giveaway that we're doing in October in one of our upcoming videos. So you wanna make sure that you stay tuned. I'm gonna go rock out in my new rocking chair, and we'll see you on the next video.